that little process we just went through of cleaning up the app, I do every time I, I build a new app. And so we can start with the, the, the empty app, if you prefer, and build up to that jumping off point. Or you can start with the, the default MVC app and take away what you need to get to your jumping off point. Either way is totally viable and totally acceptable. It's however you want to do it. So how are we going to start this app? Where are we going to start? This is our Date Me app. And if I just run this app currently, it's pulling up um, this, this main screen. It's got the title of our project, Date Me. It's got home and privacy um, as, as different links we can jump back and forth between. And it's, then it's got this welcome with this learn about. Now, don't discount this, by the way. They've got this link on here about learning about building web apps using ASP.NET Core. If you click on this, then it has all this information. Microsoft is so good about tutorials and, and uh, documentation to help us with whatever it is we're trying to do. It has these little you know, tutorials here to help us with different things and then a whole bunch of links here with a bunch of information. And so uh, don't discount this as you're trying to learn this stuff. This can be really helpful. Um, so where is it getting that that view we just saw? Well, uh, again, just trying to help us out. It's already built for us an index page that it goes to by default. And if we look that here, then here's the uh, welcome, and then here's this little link we just clicked on. Learn about building uh, web apps with ASP.NET MVC Core, and that's it. And we set the title. Um, where is the rest of the information that it's getting? Where's all that navigation and the and the you know date me up in the top left corner and the the footer and hopefully you feel good and remember that that's in this shared layout and so we have this shared layout that is doing all that stuff and so we have our html tags opening and closing we have our header tag or head tag sorry um, and it sets up the char set it sets up the viewport this is to help us as it's on different uh, devices, the different screen sizes. We set up a title and then we bring in Bootstrap and our site CSS and a specific styles.css. And if we don't need any of this stuff, we can take it out. Here's the little section in the header that has something called a nav bar. So it's using uh, in HTML a, a nav and then it's using a style. Um, the class, if we if we remember our classes in in CSS, of a type nav bar, and it goes through all this information to make it look a certain way, and we can modify this and change it as we want to. Um, it has a link in there, and it and it calls it the type is a nav bar brand, and then uh, ASP area is blank, but then it has something say saying well which controller does this. Uh, link this a tag take us to and in this case it's taking us to the home controller and which action in the controller are we going to and that's the index and so if we click on that button that says uh, date me it will take us home and then we have another link in here uh, well there's a couple of them we can see down here um, so all of this has to just do a style and how it looks and that. But then we say the ASP controller is home and the ASP action is index. And then the second link is ASP controllers home and the ASP action is privacy. And so in the home controller, it's saying go to the home controller and then the action index. And sure enough, there's our index action that it will take us to in the home controller. If I say... Um, home privacy then it's going to go to the home controller and it's going to look for an action called privacy which will not take us anywhere because we currently don't have that link set up we'll fix that in a little bit um, but that's what that's doing in the layout is all of this is set up for that that nav bar and uh, since it's already built in for us uh, we'll just leave that there and then we have our our main container so this is just a, a class container and again this is all stuff i'm not going to cover necessarily in this set of videos this is stuff that uh, hopefully you're aware of from previous classes or knowledge in HTML and CSS. Um, and then we have here our statement to render the body. So our index only has this stuff in it, but it gets dropped into the middle of this shared layout 
right here um, as if it were just copied and pasted in here. And so the at sign says this is uh, C sharp code and HTML code combined with C sharp code is something Microsoft refers to as razor code. And so this is all this whole thing is razor code. Um, but this statement in particular is a C sharp statement saying go call the render body method, which is going to go bring in the body of whatever view we're, we're trying to view. And then um, we have our footer here that again has a, a link, an A tag, uh, with referring to the ASP controller home and the ASP action privacy. And it says privacy. So we can click here and get to that privacy uh, view we deleted as well. And so, and then we have our script uh, imports. And then this just has to do with how it's, it's rendered. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about these things, but I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. Um, what we, the main point I want to make here is how the index page drops in here at this link for the render body. So it's going to sit in the middle of this uh, shared layout. And so let's actually do something with that index page. So I'm going to close the shared layout. Um, can close my home controller. And I want to get rid of this stuff. Um, that's there with the link that said welcome and then has the, the um, link to the documentation. And I'm just going to drop in here and say, uh, I'm going to put a div in here and say, um, well, I guess we need the, oh, the title's already on kind of up at the top, but I, I could uh, put in, let's put in at first a little header that says um, date Spencer Hilton. My wife will not like this page whatsoever. So uh, anyway, uh, so then I'm going to put in a div and I'm just going to put in here a paragraph that says today is your lucky day. And, um, and then I'm going to say, you may have the opportunity to date this. And then I'm going to drop in an image. Now the image I have chosen has been carefully selected. Um, so if I go out and you can use whatever image you want to, um, I'm going to come in here and I've got this image called date Spencer. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into my project. Where do I want it to be? I want it to be in the www root folder. And a lot of times we actually want it to be, we, we organize stuff by creating a folder called images in that www root folder so that the user can access that image. And then I'll drop my image into that folder. And here it is. Now I can bring this into the project now by clicking on this and dragging it over into my project. And we're going to see this picture in a minute. Um, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a break tag to get us down below the image. And then I'm going to, uh, well, actually I'm going to create a separate division. Let's do that. So, uh, again, divisions in uh, HTML help us to organize different things. And so between the two divisions is where I want to put the break tag. And then in here, I'll just put an, a little link that says an A tag that says fill out an application to date me. All right, so we've got a little tag there that says fill out an application to date me. And so I'm going to run this and see how it looks. All right, so there it is. My image is a little bit large, so I probably ought to make that a little bit smaller. So I'll say, let's set the height equal to, let's try 500 and just see how that looks. And there it is. All right. Date Spencer Hilton. Today's your lucky day. You may have the opportunity to date this. And then there's a link here, although it's not working as a link, to fill out an application to date me. And there's a little story behind this picture that I'll tell you in the next video. Spencer out.